So on YouTube, we already have some advanced setup videos related to visual novels in the Steam Deck. But in this video, I want to keep it simple how to apply an 18 plus patch to a visual novel on the Steam Deck. Because I mean, if you're reading an arrow gay, why would you read it without the arrow? And unfortunately, Steam makes it very difficult to uh, have arrow gay have its 18 plus content intact by default by when you put them on Steam. So VN publishers have to be very rare and uh, put the 18 plus patches off site. So in this video, I'm going to be using Aching Lovers After Stories as an example. Because normally, in a visual novel arrow gay, you'd normally have to wait like at least 5 to 10 hours to get in the heroine's route just to see an H scene and to confirm the 18 plus patch actually worked. But thankfully, Saki is a pretty horny woman and in, the after, in her after story route, she has an H scene within like the first few minutes. So that's going to make things a lot easier. So as we advance the text through here, there's going to be a part when Saki talks and, and her uh, sprite isn't going to show. So, at this, if you have the 18 plus patch installed, there's actually uh, a Saki naked sprite at this part. But as you can see, when Nekunyan made the all ages version, they basically just said, "Oh, okay, we'll just take out this naked sprite just so we can get the Making Lovers After Stories visual novel on Steam." One of many examples. So to fix this, we want to go to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. This is the way we can uh, actually apply uh, 18 plus patches um, for Steam because uh, on the Steam Deck mode, you're pretty much only limited to opening games and organizing stuff. Usually, the easiest way to find if a patch exists or where to find it is through VNDB. So if we go to the browser and just search for 18 plus patch in the English section, we can click on that and it'll usually give us a direct link to where you can find the uh, patch. So as you can see, this is where you can download it. So all we need to do is download it and we can go to the next step. So I downloaded the, the zip file with the patch onto the, my desktop. When I click it, I can see the uh, R18 DLC and it looks like it's a pretty easy um, uh, folder overwrite where you just overwrite a few files in the archive folder. And in order to do that, we're going to have to find the Steam local files. If you've done a uh, 18 plus patch through Steam on a PC, you should know how this works. But just in case, I'll show it off here. So the first thing we have to do is actually open up the Steam app in desktop mode. I know that sounds kind of confusing, but that's basically the only way we can manipulate uh, files related to the Steam Deck games. So if we find our Making Lovers After Stories on here... We have to click this gear here. You can either click Manager Properties and then go to Local Files. And then we want to click Browse. So what we can do is just open up the archive file in the Making Lovers After Stories. And then just uh, copy just these two arc files into this archive folder. Once we confirm the uh, files are properly transferred into the uh, folder from the Steam local files, we can go back to Steam Deck mode. And in order to do that, you click this desktop icon here and turn Return to Gaming Mode. Alright, now when you get back into Steam Deck mode, just reopen the visual novel and I have a convenient save that was like a little bit before that scene that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, now Saki has a uh, naked sprite, so this is a very good indication that the 18 plus patch worked. Normally, it isn't that fast and easy to figure out if the patch worked, but as long as you generally follow the directions that I showed, you should be able to easily apply an 18 plus patch to a visual novel of your choice on the Steam Deck. I hope this uh, video worked out for you, and hopefully you enjoy some good old-fashioned 18 plus Arrowgate while reading on your Steam Deck.